For years, a single question has echoed through the world's defense circles. How did China leapfrog its rivals in the hypersonic arms race? While the United States and Russia were pouring billions into their own programs, China quietly surged ahead, demonstrating capabilities that left analysts completely stunned. We now have details on a revolutionary engine technology they're testing, one that uses controlled detonations to achieve unprecedented speeds. According to their research, it could travel at an incredible Mach 16. So, how did they appear to master a technology that others had abandoned? And what does it mean for a world where the balance of power can be rewritten in the time it takes a missile to cross the globe? The new hypersonic arms race isn't just about speed, it's about rewriting the rules of modern warfare. For decades, the peak of high-speed flight was the scramjet, an air-breathing engine that could push aircraft past Mach 5. But scramjets have a ceiling, often struggling with instability much beyond Mach 6. This was the technological wall the world's superpowers were trying to smash through. Then, in the summer of 2021, China conducted a test that sent shockwaves through the Pentagon. They launched a hypersonic glide vehicle that some U.S. officials believed was a demonstration of a fractional orbital bombardment system, or FOBs, a Cold War concept resurrected with terrifying new potential. The test was even described by a top U.S. general as a near, Sputnik moment. It was clear China had achieved something different. The question was, how? The answer lies not in a slow burn, but in a perfectly controlled series of explosions. The secret to China's potential leap forward is a radical propulsion system known as the Oblique Detonation Engine, or ODE. To get why this is such a game-changer, you have to understand how a normal jet engine works. A ramjet or a scramjet uses a continuous, controlled burn called deflagration. They suck in air, mix it with fuel, and burn it to create thrust. A detonation engine, though, doesn't just burn the fuel, it explodes it. This process is fundamentally different and vastly more powerful. And it seems Chinese scientists have managed to tame it. In tests at the famous JF-12 shock tunnel in Beijing, they have successfully tested an ODE that they claim can operate at speeds between Mach 6 and Mach 16. To put that into perspective, Mach 16 is over 12,000 miles per hour, fast enough to theoretically circle the globe in about two hours. The combustion rate inside this engine is reportedly up to 1,000 times faster than a conventional scramjet, though this is likely an estimate from ideal laboratory conditions. Perhaps most shockingly, they achieved this using common RP-3 aviation kerosene, the same type of fuel that powers commercial jets. For years, hypersonic research was held back by the need for hard-to-store fuels like liquid hydrogen. By getting this to work with kerosene, Chinese engineers have made the technology far more practical for military use. This breakthrough, detailed in their scientific journals, represents a huge shift in propulsion. It's a technology the US explored decades ago but largely gave up on. China picked it up and, by all accounts, is now pushing it to its limits. So, how do you control an explosion to power a vehicle at 20 times the speed of a rifle bullet? The physics behind the oblique detonation engine are incredibly complex, but the concept itself is elegant. Instead of trying to contain a constant burn, the ODE uses the shockwave from the vehicle's own hypersonic speed to ignite the fuel. Imagine the engine's inlet. As air screams in at hypersonic speeds, it forms a powerful, angled shockwave. Chinese researchers figured out how to precisely inject fuel into this shockwave. The immense pressure and temperature inside the wave trigger a near-instantaneous, self-sustaining detonation. It's like a surfer catching a massive, unending wave, except this wave is a front of pure explosive energy. The key here is stability. Early detonation engine concepts were notoriously unstable, like trying to light a match in a hurricane. Using advanced facilities like the JF-12 shock tunnel, the Chinese team has managed to sustain these detonations and generate stable thrust in a lab environment. Recent publications claim they have maintained a stable detonation for over two seconds, crossing a critical threshold for military viability, though there's no independent confirmation of this being achieved outside of ground tests. This isn't just a lab curiosity anymore, it's the foundation for a new generation of weapons. The terrifying brilliance of China's hypersonic arsenal isn't just about the raw speed of the engine. 
it's about what that speed enables. When you combine that speed with maneuverability, you get a weapon that is extremely difficult to intercept. Traditional ballistic missiles fly in a high, predictable arc that defense systems are designed to track. A hypersonic weapon doesn't play by those rules. A system like the one tested in 2021 can be launched into a low orbit, potentially flying over the South Pole to evade US radar networks. From there, it can deorbit and release its glide vehicle, which screams through the atmosphere, maneuvering unpredictably on its way to the target. But the most chilling aspect might not be the hardware, but the software. People's Liberation Army researchers have published papers on a guidance algorithm that could make these weapons even harder to stop. Based on a method called Multi-Model Adaptive Estimation, or MMAE, it essentially gives the missile a brain. As the weapon flies, it analyzes the defensive systems trying to shoot it down. According to their simulations, it can identify the type of enemy interceptor and its design, then calculate the interceptor's likely path and plot an evasion course in real time, with a claimed accuracy of about 16 feet. Of course, this has only been demonstrated in simulations, with no public evidence of it being used in a real-world system. Still, this creates a devastating, pain point. Multi-billion dollar defense networks and even aircraft carriers are suddenly rendered shockingly vulnerable. A revolutionary engine is useless if the vehicle it's powering burns up from the extreme heat of hypersonic flight. Traveling at these speeds generates unimaginable temperatures. This is where another, less publicized, part of China's program comes in. Breakthroughs in material science. Sustained hypersonic flight is only possible with advanced cooling systems and materials that can withstand thousands of degrees. China has invested heavily here, developing new heat-resistant alloys and composites, with materials like niobium alloys being critical. They've also reportedly made breakthroughs in sensor technology, allowing for clear imaging even at hypersonic speeds. This comprehensive approach, tackling propulsion, guidance, and materials all at once, is the true secret to their progress. They didn't just solve one piece of the puzzle, they solved all of them. China's lead in the hypersonic race isn't the result of a single secret weapon, but a cascade of integrated breakthroughs. The oblique detonation engine research promises unprecedented speed with practical fuel. The 2021 test demonstrated a delivery concept that is incredibly hard to detect. And revolutionary eye-powered guidance algorithms are being developed in their labs to defeat even the most advanced defenses. While the United States is racing to catch up with its own hypersonic systems, it's playing from behind against a rival that has been focused on this for two decades. We are entering a new, unstable era of warfare. The idea of weapons that could theoretically strike any target on Earth in under two hours shrinks the globe and erases the strategic buffer that oceans once provided. The implications are profound, threatening to upend the doctrine of deterrence that has kept the peace for over half a century. The age of hypersonic conflict is no longer science fiction. It's here, and the world is struggling to adapt to its terrifying speed. If you found this analysis insightful, be sure to like this video, share it with others, and subscribe to our channel for more deep dives into the technologies shaping our world.